Francis Bacon was an English philosopher, statesman, and scientist who served as Attorney General and Lord Chancellor of England under King James I. Bacon led the advancement of both natural philosophy and the scientific method and his works remained influential even in the late stages of the scientific revolution. Bacon was born in London on January 22, 1561, the second son of Sir Nicholas Bacon, Lord Keeper of the Great Seal, and his second wife, Lady Anne Cook Bacon. Bacon was educated at Trinity College, Cambridge, and Gray's Inn, where he studied law. After graduating from Cambridge, Bacon traveled to France, where he studied the works of the French philosopher Michel de Montaigne. In 1584, Bacon was elected to Parliament. He served in Parliament for several years, and during this time he began to develop his ideas about natural philosophy and the scientific method. In 1605, Bacon published his first major work, The Advancement of Learning. In this work, Bacon argued that the goal of natural philosophy should be to understand the causes of things, and that this could be achieved through a process of inductive reasoning, which involved careful observation and experimentation. In 1618, Bacon was appointed Lord Chancellor of England. He served in this position for three years, but he was forced to resign in 1621 after being accused of corruption. After his resignation, Bacon continued to write and publish, and he died in 1626. Bacon's ideas about natural philosophy and the scientific method had a profound influence on the development of science. He is often called the father of empiricism, and his work helped to lay the foundation for the scientific revolution. Bacon's most famous work is Novum Organum Scientiarum, New Organon of Science, published in 1620. In this work, Bacon argued that the old methods of science were flawed and that a new method was needed. He called this new method inductive reasoning and it involved careful observation and experimentation. Bacon believed that this new method would lead to the discovery of new knowledge about the natural world. Bacon's ideas were not immediately accepted by the scientific community, but they eventually gained widespread acceptance. His work helped to change the way that scientists thought about the natural world, and it led to the development of new scientific theories and discoveries. Bacon was a complex and controversial figure. He was a brilliant scientist and philosopher, but he was also a ruthless politician who was willing to compromise his principles for personal gain. However, there is no doubt that Bacon was one of the most important figures in the history of science. His ideas about natural philosophy and the scientific method helped to lay the foundation for the scientific revolution and they continue to influence scientists today.